This is a motorized shade. You can automate it to open and close at any time, like sunrise and sunset, or when your TV turns on to create a home theater ambiance. It works with Amazon, Apple, Google, Home Assistant, and SmartThings smart home systems. You can control it using a physical remote control or a button on the shade, or by using your preferred smart home app or voice assistant. This one uses matter over thread, so no third-party app is required and requests are processed locally in my home and not in the cloud. It also blends in seamlessly with all the other shades in my home. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Smart Wings Motorized Blackout Cellular Shades. I'll cover the installation, smart home setup, buying options, and potential drawbacks to consider. Everything that I cover is also featured in an article on my website. You can find a link to it along with any of the featured tech in the video description. On this channel, I cover how tech can make you more productive. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. Let's start off with installation because it might be easier than you think. When it comes to certain house projects, you might consider not only the cost of the purchase, but also the cost of labor if you need to hire someone to help install it. But these motorized shades are absolutely something you can install yourself. All you need is a tape measure, pencil, and a drill. Smart Wings provided my shade for review, but they're not sponsoring this video. The shades arrive with two mounting brackets. The top of the shade hardware indicates where to position each bracket, which is super helpful. Just hold the shade up, mark the area with a pencil where you'll need to screw in each bracket. Each bracket comes with two screws and two drywall anchors. I was going into a stud, so I didn't need the anchors. Use a drill to secure both brackets and then pop the shade into place. That's really it. If you get the solar panel like I did, it connects to the top of the shade hardware, so plug that in before you pop the shade into place. You'll want to charge the shade motor after you first install it. Even if you got the solar panel, I suggest charging for the first time using the included USB-C cable. Keep in mind that a full charge may take five to six hours. But once charged, SmartWing says it should last you six months before needing to charge again, depending on your usage. The solar panel should reduce that need to charge over USB-C. Just attach the solar panel to your window using the included 3M adhesive. To control the shade, you first need to take it out of sleep mode, which is done by just pressing a button on the shade. Then you can start to use the included remote control, which arrived already paired with my shade. On the remote control, you press the down button once and the shade goes all the way down, or press the up button once and it goes all the way up. You can press the stop button to pause the shade's movement at any point. If you find that your shade is a bit long for your window, you can customize the bottom position to get that perfect fit. You can also set a favorite position such as 20% of the way down, which I did, to avoid seeing the solar panel on the window. But you don't have to use the remote control. You can also press the physical button on the shade to open and close it. Thankfully, it's reasonably quiet when opening or closing the shade, maxing out for me around 55 decibels. Let's hear what it sounds like. If you're buying a motorized shade, chances are you're interested in connecting it to your smart home. Since I got the Matter over Thread motor, it works with all smart home systems, including Amazon, Apple, Google, Home Assistant, and SmartThings. I'm gonna focus smart home setup on Apple HomeKit and Home Assistant. Thankfully, it's super easy and no third-party app is required. I first added the shade to Apple HomeKit. 
To do this, just open the Apple Home app, choose Add Accessory, scan the setup code printed on the shade, and it's ready to use in Apple Home. Then I added it to Home Assistant. To do this, go to Settings, Devices and Services, open the Matter integration, click Devices, then Add Device. Since I already added the shade to Apple Home, I selected Yes, it's already in use. Then I clicked Apple Home. From there, I found the shade in the Apple Home app, clicked the Settings icon, and then chose Turn on Pairing Mode. Just copy and paste that code into Home Assistant and click Add Device. Now, I can control my shade using either the Apple Home or Home Assistant app, or with Voice using Siri. From either app, just tap once to open or close the shade, or you can partially open or close it, choosing any desired position. You can also see the battery percentage of the shade's motor from either app, which is really helpful. But I can also use my voice. Since I named mine Basement Shade, I can tell my voice assistant, Siri, open the basement shades. Whether you're using app or voice, the delay is pretty minimal between giving the command and seeing that command executed. I created an automation in Home Assistant for opening and closing this shade. When we are home, the shade will open at sunrise and close at sunset. If we're watching TV in the evening, the basement light turns off and the shade closes to create a simple theater mode. This is especially helpful on summer nights when the sun sets much later in the evening. But there are lots of other home automation ideas. You can have the shades open or close when motion is detected in a room or when no presence has been detected for a certain time period. Or you could have the shades close when the outdoor temperature gets especially high to keep the room cooler and cut down on energy usage. If you're interested in smart motorized shades, SmartWings has tons of styles and options to choose from. You can choose among roller, cellular, and several other styles. I went with cellular shades since that's the style of all the other shades in our home. With cellular, you can choose light filtering to allow some light to pass through or 100% blackout as I did. Blackout's great for bedrooms or home theaters. In addition, you can choose between a bottom-down or a top-down, bottom-up shade, and also between single and double cell. The fabric comes in several colors to match your home decor. You'll also need to choose if you want it to be an inside or outside mount. This will likely be determined by the window frame in your home and how much space you have to work with. My setup on this window is an outside mount, and SmartWings provides some guidance for this on their website. Probably the most important part of the entire process is just measuring your window. I recommend measuring at least three times to ensure you have the right dimensions. With that out of the way, you can select your motor type. Options include Zigbee, Z-Wave, and Matter Over Thread, and any of those would be a solid option for local control, but I went with Matter Over Thread. You can choose the color of the top hardware, decide if you'd like to add a solar charger, and what type of physical remote you'd like. I just have the basic five channel remote since I primarily control the shade through home automations. There are a few things that I think could be improved. The hardware on top of the shade has a SmartWings logo. I don't wanna see a brand logo on my shades. Fortunately, it's fairly subtle, but I wish SmartWings would just remove this. Motorized shades themselves may be a conversation piece if you have guests over. You don't need a logo on there. Also, I wish there was an option to disable the charging light. There's an LED in the top hardware that flashes green when charging, either on USB-C or solar. I want my shades to just disappear in the background and a blinking light is not subtle. I also think a blinking light would be kind of annoying in a bedroom. If there's some way to disable this that I haven't figured out, please let me know in the comments. Without the SmartWings logo and charging light, 
honestly, you wouldn't even know it was a smart shade. It looks like any other white cellular blackout shade in our house, and that's a good thing. The last thing I wish was different is the physical button. As mentioned, you can open and close the shade by pressing a small button on the top hardware. In theory, this is great, so you don't have to rely on locating the remote control or fiddling with an app or voice command. But that tiny physical button may be difficult to reach for anyone who's shorter. I wish the shade had a transparent grab handle at the bottom like our other cellular shades, such that just giving it a slight tug would initiate the motor to go up or down. The shade configuring that I chose was $374. The cost is influenced by several factors, including window size, shade style and materials, motor and remote control type, so your selection might cost less or more. Lutron Serena is probably the gold standard for top-of-the-line motorized shades, but they are expensive. For context, the equivalent shade from Lutron Serena cost $497 or $123 more than Smart Wings. If you're covering 10 or 20 windows in your home, you could literally save thousands by using Smart Wings. My wife and I both agree that the shade looks great and is practically identical to the other shades everywhere else in our home. I love how the Matter Over Thread motor keeps my data local and integrates quickly with any smart home platform for voice and app control and for creating home automations. Motorized shades take an everyday manual task that I do each morning and evening and automates it so it's just one less thing I have to worry about. Plus, there's just something cool about seeing shades open and close automatically. Let me know in the comments what you think of motorized shades and how you are using them. If you're interested in getting an open source matter over thread controller for your smart home, you'll want to check out the video here. There are links in the description for all the featured tech in this video. I appreciate it when you use those links since I may earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. If you're interested in supporting this channel, consider becoming a member using the links in the description or picking up merch like this shirt. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.